So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see. I really have no idea what they're gonna do this year. Basically, I was really excited. Basically, I'm... I was excited for stuff last year. Uh, ReCore was my biggest letdown. Um... But this year at E3, I'm most anxious to see just a hint of news from Cyberpunk 2077. Even though they said that they're not going to. Oh shit, here we go. Oh man, that's cool. Yeah, it was 1080p totally. Yeah, not 900p. It all leads to this. <laughs> This is the 2017 Xbox E3 Briefing. Hmm. Well, I know it's, it's going to be about Scorpio. That's all I know. Alright, cool. Um, my favorite intro was probably the one from 2015 with the Superman theme in the background. I'm, m the Man of Steel theme. Uh, the leaping thing, but we are getting right into Scorpio right here talking about it immediately with an apple like uh, an apple like uh, <laughs> project reveal It is a pretty cool demonstration in the graphics, I will not lie. <clears throat> Testing the sound of the one, two, three, one, two, three, check, 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 check. Oh, damn. Okay. That is... That is pretty. That is... That is pretty. I will not... Yeah, that's... That's pretty sleek looking. Compared to... The uh, giant Xbox One. So... Yeah. That's... That's pretty nice. Yeah. I'm trying to balance how many beasts at the same time and uh, <laughs> Okay. Good afternoon to those of you with us here in person watching <clears throat> on this incredible right. 4K Hopefully screen. Hopefully we can do that. To the millions Please. watching us around the world or TV or online. And to those of you watching and interacting on Mixer, on behalf of everyone on Team Xbox, welcome to E3 2017. It's kind of weird how he was like, uh, yeah, uh, uh, okay, shut up, let me talk. I mean, let some cheering happen, dude. When the renegade group of gamers, creators, and engineers came together 
to form the original Xbox team and deliver the first Xbox console, we were driven by three principles. Empower developers, delight gamers, and deliver true hardware and technical innovation. The He's actually Xbox not wrong. The original the Xbox, launch. the initial There's idea of it was to make a PC X. that in and a today, in the form factor of a console, which is something that Steam Machines kind of tried to do. Family, but that was actually the original goal for the uh, Xbox original One Xbox. X. Okay. Xbox One X, the most powerful console Fuck ever you. made. Since Why isn't it called Scorpio? No! Game creators. Dang it! Starting on November 7th, <sighs> Xbox One X joins the Xbox One and the Xbox One S when it launches worldwide. We can't have cool names for shit, can we? We just can't have cool names for shit. Are we not allowed to have cool now, names for shit? I'd like to introduce one of our Come leaders on, in the man. Xbox engineering team. Responsible for making the Xbox One experience. Xbox One Scorpio is such. Xbox One Scorpio is such a way cooler name. Green Chowdhury to tell you more. God. Thanks, Phil. It's an honor to be here at E3 and represent three years of engineering. <laughs> check, check, one, two, three. Bring check. Xbox One X. From the beginning, our focus <clears throat> on game creators and talking over this a little bit just to big goals make sure that the did. audio is correct. Power, compatibility, and craftsmanship. Let's talk power, which starts with the specs. Six teraflop GPU clocked at 1.172 gigahertz. 12 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory and, and no, it's good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Per second of memory bandwidth. <laughs> These are impressive numbers that are more powerful than any other console on every dimension because that's what it takes to give game creators okay. the power they need so you can experience true 4K resolution, 4K textures and 4K assets in So one thing room. I love that console manufacturers do is and when we say they or K console K manufacturers K and K Apple now recently too high dynamic range, they think wide color game, enthusiasts care about like teraflops Atmos, you think people are ranting about teraflops UAV when like Nvidia that. launches a new <laughs> GPU no they don't nobody cares Next, about teraflops talk about how fast the processor runs for and for i know this is this is how you, they compare it to the playstation 4 but like is talk about how fast the processor so right has and the start, all the other stuff you have to write the ram what type of ram it is stuff like that but okay that's good yeah, that's good oh but that wasn't good enough we wanted more the game library you have today will look and play even better on Xbox One X with enhanced visual fidelity, anisotropic filtering, and faster load times. That's good even to know. Even if you haven't made the jump to a 4K TV yet, we designed this product for you as well. Since Xbox One X enables a technique called super sampling, the new 4K games you see on stage today will look better on your 1080p okay, good. than anything good. you've seen before. That's something I wanted to know, also for older games. And finally, Since a lot of games can't even be ran at 1080p on the original Xbox One, um, I was wondering if then that you'd be able to actually engine. run them. At 1080p on here. Nanometer technology to build a 360 square millimeter chip with 7 billion transistors and a 384 bit wide memory. I will have to say, this is the fastest. I I don't buy this bullshit. Um, the PS4 Pro can't run 4K, means that every and I don't think this will run 4K either. I think it'll be upscaled. It will be above, I think we're looking more at a 1440p range. Um, the Scorpio engine is so intense that for the first time ever on a console, we're using a liquid-cooled vapor chamber normally reserved for servers and high-end PC cards. That's nice. 
An engineer on the Xbox hardware team invented a new power management system so innovative, we named it after him. The Hovis method uniquely optimizes every single Xbox One X at the system and component level to deliver consistent performance efficiently and elegantly. Now, it's easy to think all this technology and capability will mean a bigger console. But again, we wanted more. Not only have we built the most powerful console ever, Xbox One X <laughs> is the smallest Xbox ever. This is the system you asked us to build, and it has been a great honor to design and build it for you. I couldn't be more proud of our team, and I hope you love it as much as we do. Now, let's see what this monster can do. Exclusive Xbox World One World Premiere. So, Forza, good choice to show off graphics considering it, those those games literally look like the the cars look like they're actually real. So, good choice. <clears throat> but yeah, I if I were to ever get this console, I would be getting it for the fact that I could actually finally run games at 1080p, like at good Please settings on a 1080p TV. Dan um, because the Xbox One can't really do that now. Because I'm, a, I've, I've been a person so far of. Max, I love maxing out in graphics. World, if that, and if I have to sacrifice that for resolution, then I'm fine. I have a 1080p Frankfurt, gaming computer, Paris, Detroit. and I don't plan Watch going to 4K for, racing for on Xbox a, and PC. like Forza at least another four years, probably not four years, at least games. another three years, so today, because for the first time in history, I want to play a, a game supercar is making its on a f debut. 4K, Here. and I want to max it out, and I want no sacrifice to frame rate. Uh, so, basically, you can only do that on the top video cards right now. Um, we have to wait. This year, oh. we launched a six-year partnership with Porsche to bring do you have amazing a, uh, experiences, both Porsche in game on stage? and in person. Porsche shares our no. vision for the future of racing and esports. Porsche? And this car has never been seen outside of the guarded walls of Porsche. That honor belongs to you, exclusively. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present the 2018 Porsche 911 GT2 RS. <laughs> Yeah, Xbox. Yeah, games. <laughs> this is not only the most aggressive expression of Porsche's legendary design, <clears throat> it features the most powerful road-going 911 engine ever made. Like the Xbox One X, it's a monster. <laughs> and with over 4.8 million active players Essentially, across Xbox, the Xbox One Windows S 10, is a car. Porsche is one of the largest racing communities on the planet. You made this historic moment possible. Through your passion for racing, the digital and the real worlds are merging in an unprecedented way. So now, let's take a look at the Porsche 911 GT2 RS in Forza Motorsport 7, running on Xbox One X. I'm joined on stage by two presenters for our Forza Racing Championship eSports series. 
I'm Shannon McIntosh, professional race car driver and Porsche driving coach. I'll be pushing the GT2 RS to its limits on the sun-baked streets of Dubai. And I'm Verena May, professional racer and stunt driver. I will be fighting to survive dynamic weather in the Nürburgring in this Nissan cool. GTR race car. We start with Shannon in her customized driver on Dubai. Using the power of Xbox One X, Forza Motorsport 7 runs at a native 4K and a rock solid 60 frames per second. And we have the additional power to deliver shocking levels of detail. Using super high resolution assets, we've recreated the intense feel of one of the, the greatest mixer. driving roads in the world, the Hafiz Is there Mountain like a Pass. watch cap on how many people can watch the event on Mixer? That's dumb. But in Forza Motorsport 7, we've reimagined the entire racing experience on all devices. Racing is more immersive and dynamic. Ominous skies roll in as car parts rattle and vibrate. We've made racing more epic and grand. Race through living environments featuring spectacular vistas and massive scale. I mean, you can see we've made it racing more good. dynamic and surprising. Dynamic puddles grow as the storm unleashes its fury. Doesn't look like anything. Uh, that's a pretty good shot right there. Okay. The intense heat but it doesn't look like anything too super new. Like in terms of what the current games alive, already have. Dark skies open Going to the storm and when as the sun storm? emerges from the clouds for a breathtaking finish. Racing is reborn in Forza. Whether running on the Xbox One family of consoles or Windows 10 PCs, Forza Motorsport 7 is the most technically advanced and comprehensive racing games ever made. <clears throat> With more than 700 cars, it features the largest collection of Lamborghinis, Ferraris, and Porsches ever assembled. Today, you are the first people to see the 2018 Porsche 911 GT2 RS. And this week at E3, like me, you can be the first to drive it. So come experience the most powerful road going 911 ever made on the Xbox One X, the most powerful console ever made in Forza Motorsport 7. Thank you. I'm gonna play a ton of Forza Motorsports Why 7 when Phil it ships Schiller, on what's October 3rd. Weird, awkward Phil Schiller laugh thing launches, going on every time he walks out. We will all get to experience Forza Motorsports 7 in true 4K at 60 frames per second. Today, we're gonna showcase the world's greatest creators with a lineup of different types of games for every type of gamer. It is the largest and I believe the most diverse lineup of games that we've ever shown on our Xbox E3 stage. <clears throat> games from creators large and small, games that inspire and challenge us, games that transport us to new worlds and offer us new perspectives, and games that push the boundary of our art form. Today, we will feature 42 games here on our stage including 22 games with console exclusivity on Xbox One. Cool. Every one of these games will play great on each member of the Xbox One family, but of course, they will play best on Xbox One X. Up next is a game from a creative team that built their franchise on Xbox. In 2010, 4A Games worked with us to launch a single-player masterpiece that I played on Xbox 360. <clears throat> now, I'm honored to bring you back games? with the premiere of their next work, running in-engine in true 4K. World premiere.
<clears throat> what is this? Uh, no, nope, still don't know. Four A games. I I actually don't know who that is. I forgot. Is it Metro? know what this is that's cool music though I, I don't know what this is. I really don't. Oh fuck. Oh god, that really tripped me up there. <laughs> I thought he flew off the train for a second. <laughs> okay. I I I always I I that was one of my guesses. That was my last guess, so. Yeah. And I've always wanted to play those games. I just never really knew about them when they initially came out. So I kind of missed the boat and never went back and played them. World premiere. Xbox World Premiere. We are the first. The first to see the gods. 
the first to tame their beasts. The first to guard the soul from evil. We conquered this land and built an empire. But there are whispers on the wind. A brotherhood born in the shadows. They are the first to call themselves the Assassins. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. The least of this being in the, uh, the desert. Um, yeah, I, I played Assassin's Creed 3 and 4. I hated 3. I loved 4. Um, I thought the first one looked good because they had co-op. Um, or the, the, sorry, the one, at, the fifth one looked good because they had co-op, Unity. Um, and then I thought the one after that looked good too. I didn't have co-op though, so I was a little upset about that. But I never got them, and... To be honest with you, both those schemes looked more appealing than this one does. Um, and I know Assassin's Creed is about the past, but what if we saw an Assassin's Creed that was in present day, and then eventually the future? I just feel like we were getting really close there in Assassin's Creed 4. With them being in the Caribbean and everything, so I don't know. I feel like we could have, or not the Caribbean. That's uh, what's the the, the revolution in um in the third one with the Revolutionary War. I feel like we're getting really closer to modern day stuff. It's also the story of one man, Bayek. Bayek is the last Medjay, the protector of his community, an Egyptian sheriff, if you like, and he struggled against the dark forces that corrupt ancient Egypt will lead to the foundation of the Assassin's Brotherhood. Or, sorry, nope, never mind with the Caribbean one. Uh, that takes Egypt place afterwards. So far I was getting those confused. Pushed us to rethink but yeah, this is just this whole own thing, thing, isn't it, right here? We added many RPG elements to a huge systemic world, more detailed and alive than ever before. So today, we are very proud to show you what the game looks like on Xbox Xbox One X running in On Xbox One And now just for you Bayek is coming back to Siwa his hometown to kill the fake oracle Medunamun World premiere <laughs> World premiere It looks good, I'll give it that. It looks really nice. That is some pretty shit right there. Ah, Siwa, my home, the sacred oasis. The Magi has returned. My eyes, Senu. This temple resembles a fortress. What has happened? Get out of my way. <clears throat> cool, Yusuf. There you are. 
Let bird one. technology. The next masked one on my list. Masked one. Now it is my turn to tip the balance of Anubis. Very talkative, uh, assassin. Better be careful here. He's hiding in the grass. I can't see him in that tall grass there. more uh, focused gear system right there. Once again, I'm comparing this to, to uh, Assassin's Creed 4, so. It is too dangerous. We'll pass for now. Is that actually something he says if you do that? That's, that's kind of impressive if he does, but I doubt that that happens. Guide me, Senu. That's a really useful feature. Oh, he has one of those weapons that I forgot the name of. That was a little, uh, Finally. it is alpha gameplay, but... Oh, what? You get to control arrows? Okay. October. Good job. At Xbox, we've always believed in the power of games to unite us all. Today, communities of gamers not only oh, shit. play together, I forgot to they be paying attention if, if, if he's, uh, Phil Spencer's changing his outfit every time he walks out. ...for both the player and the community. And with Mixer, we're innovating new features to make these experiences even better. This one's special. Of all the games in this genre, here is one that the world is having as much fun watching as they are playing. And I can tell you that includes many of us at Team Xbox. The creative director of Player Unknown's Battlegrounds is a gamer turned developer who designed this game together with a passionate community. Battlegrounds? Please welcome Player Unknown himself, Brendan Green. Is, it, is he a streamer then? Thanks, Phil. Good afternoon, everyone. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds okay. is a multiplayer battle royale where you must fight against really 100 quick other players quick right here. to be the last one standing. And Our team's focus is to bring the most okay. complete battle royale experience <clears> ever <throat> to console and Everything deliver a still great be okay. experience across all Xbox One devices. Our development is truly community driven and we owe much of our success to everyone who's given us feedback over the past year. 
with over 3 million PC players to date, we can't wait to bring Player Unknown's Battlegrounds exclusively to Xbox One later this year with an update for Xbox One X enhancements shipping with the final version. See you on the Battlegrounds, everyone. So wait, what was in Xbox One? So I, I understand if I understand this correctly, player uh, battlegrounds uh, unknown is coming to Xbox One. Yeah. Okay. Console launch exclusive. That's actually that's pretty good. Even though the game is still needs a lot of work, uh, it's pretty good. I have to thank uh, Sean for being a faithful viewer and watching, my friend Sean. <clears throat> but yeah. Alright. Our, uh... My good friend uh, and all fellow YouTuber, Max, <laughs> has joined Expensive. to watch E3 with us. And, uh, yeah, otherwise known as Malang Mamangalos. No, dude, I'm, I'm past that. I'm Luke no, on that. No, he's forever going to be known as Mamangalos. <laughs> Can you, I don't have earbuds in. Can you hear your feedback through my mic? Uh, your feedback? Like, can you hear you talking on my side? No. Okay, good. I, I mean, at least I don't think so. I'm also listening to the stream, so... Okay. <clears throat> I'm actually watching LCS right now, not E3. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> but I can also- I'm also going to open E3. Oh jeez. Alright, I'm gonna go get you. I'll be right back. Yeah, there we go. Deep Rock Galactic. Danger Darkness Dwarves. Exclusive. Is this a zombie? Is this State of Decay? Or that other weird infected is, game that we saw this year? If the world you knew was gone. What are you seeing right now? Do you see coming to the store on Windows 10 and Xbox One on the bottom left? Um, well, I guess it just disappeared. Never mind. You protect yourself from the ones Why does this? Play, there's a playground. When it protects. Uh, the guy talking. Can't even save over. themselves. Are you are you watching it live? Yeah, you should be fine. Yeah. 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 Uh, this like kind of reminds me of the division, but in a rural area. Oh, like well, just from the gameplay that it looked like. Game. Well, obviously besides the, okay, minus oh, okay. the zombies. Is what I meant, I didn't say that. But minus the zombies, like the way the they game move looked, and just stuff. Me. Yeah. yeah, the way characters move. I don't know. Is this? I think this is stated as like state of decay too. Oh, okay. I don't know what that is. It's a zombie game. Mm -hmm. People really liked it. Uh, it's so it's more like it's really focused on the survival aspect too, like collecting supplies and stuff. It sure looks good. 
Yeah. I think people have been waiting for this for a long time. Mm-hmm. The last one was on the 360. How will you decide who belongs? Hey. Yeah, it's stated. Okay. Thanks, I owe you no mouth movement. <laughs> How will you choose a place to call home? How will you build it? <laughs> oh, she made a mistake. Work together to what? defend it. From the terror. It, it said, what mistakes will you make? Just oh. Moment. She got bit. Okay. When you get hungry, cold, what risks will you take? What mistakes will you make? Wow, I just got to the what mistakes will you make part. And the only <laughs> you've got is about to I'm watching it on IGN's website. Okay. I'm watching, uh... Or save it. Xbox, uh, this is our only one, but we need everybody we've got on the YouTube, um, YouTube's Xbox One channel. Xbox mm -hmm. One's YouTube channel. I don't know why that was so complicated to say. <laughs> it's a oh boomer. Boy. Uh, the guy got ripped to shreds. Maybe I should pause for like a few seconds. Wait, wait, hold on. I got. I just when you get in too ripped deep, to shreds. Realize um, is this fat giant guy holding him? Yep. And then. Okay, just got to that. <laughs> oh, yep. Yeah. yeah. He's yeah. He's gone. He gone. He gone. <laughs> How will you find the strength? He's a bit Damn. dead. I think I'm close to you now. Okay, she's jumping on top of him, stabbing with a knife. Mine just cut to black. Okay, yeah, we're we're close enough. In this Watch world, out! There's another one running play. behind you. Oh my God, you're gonna die. <laughs> oh, How they got in your car. Play? Yep, you're gone. Is it a vision? <laughs> that logo even triggered the division. <laughs> All right, finally, it's still not coming out this year. Okay. Exclusive. Xbox One exclusive. Scavengers. That looks nice. Go to the screen. Thank you. Am I watching a Pixar short? Uh, Pixar doesn't usually do bloody stuff. I know, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I have <am> too. <laughs> well, actually, technically I'm not, but I'd love <laughs> yeah, to see yes, you branch yeah. out into horror. <laughs> yeah, me too. Let's get some non-kid-friendly Pixar movies. Two players remaining. One player remaining. I wanna play from the what the fuck? Dude, this guy is owning it though at least. This particular map. Those tracks are leading up, but that tree is gonna give him direct information. That red outline is a mortal unicorn and he's letting in about a hundred meters away now. Looks like he might be crafting or something, but what is this that bloody marrow's gonna do? Closer, What's the other game Hunger Games uh, game that came out? Um, like I mean, there's lots of them, like player know, unknowns. The yeah, not player unknowns. Uh, well, oh yeah, that was also just announced to be coming to Xbox One. Um, the one that's uh, it's it's older. 
I don't know. I, I know what you're talking about, but I don't yeah. know the name of it. I forgot the name of it. The Darwin Project. That, that... I can't get any of this shit. That logo, that's not true. <laughs> no, no, see, Max, you're a fellow master, you're a fellow of, you're, you're still connected to the world of Xbox, because you are PC, we are PCs, so that's still I Microsoft. Guess. A lot I of these guess. games are coming to both exclusively. Oh, they are? Oh, yeah, okay. uh, like, not all of them, but, like, a lot of them are coming exclusively to PC and Xbox. Oh, okay. Why are they still trying to milk Minecraft? It's dead. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's dying, but it's not it's, dead. It's dying. Um, I actually never checked how loud you are. Talk really fast. Really fast. Did I do it? <laughs> okay. Check, check. Mike, check, check. Check. Check, check. check. Is this on? Is this thing on? Please welcome from Mo Yang, brand director. Uh, Mo Lydia from Mo Yang. That, that's not Notch. <laughs> this summer, millions of I'm Minecraft gonna, players I'm gonna will be able to play together on the device down, just of a, their choice just a, for the just first time. Just a tad bit, we lad. Xbox just a little oh, bit. A tad bit. Oh. Community what? Now I need to get it for now I need to get it for the Switch. And console. If it's gonna work like that. Maybe. Wait, what is it? I missed it. It's it's cross platform. As part of this effort, Minecraft the multiplayer is Minecraft is going cross platform. Damn. And massive community run servers into the game itself. Because we know that the amazing content you create makes Minecraft even better. This fall, Minecraft will receive a free 4K update that brings Thanks. more graphical options to the game. But we didn't stop there. With all but this we talk didn't about graphics, stop there. we're taking things one My step God. further. Today, we're revealing a new look for Minecraft that we're super, super duper, duper, super duper excited dude. for you to try out. Yeah. One that's inspired by the power of Xbox One X and available this fall. Let's check it out. Ooh. Coming this fall. So, haters. So... Good. So we have to keep in mind that this is not the PC version oh, of right, Minecraft. Right. We like this is like the Windows 10 store edition and the Xbox one and the and the PlayStation okay. one. Okay. But basically shaders. <laughs> yeah. It looks nice. But I'm happy with that. That's cool. Yeah. Less work to try to get them to work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that looks really nice. I think I'm gonna get back into Minecraft just to do shade, just because <laughs> that just that shit was just so beautiful. Dude, we can play together. Time. We can play together on uh, our Switch when server. I eventually get that. Oh yeah. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> on our server that we haven't played. Yet. Wait, does that mean that we'll be able to, to get to the server? Yeah, I'll be able to get to the server on the Switch. No. I doubt it. I think that it's only going to. Well, maybe I can. You can probably import the map in. At Xbox, yeah. we're searching in terms of mods it, it and stuff, it, it though. It said like big name and servers. Oh yeah, there's that like, isn't that that um third -party stuff like Mineplex probably? Play, yeah. Are there for you on Xbox One? Of course, you'll find these great games in the Xbox. I don't know. Maybe you can. That would be cool. Today. We'll see. Then I would probably get it for the Switch. <laughs> But bringing the biggest blockbuster franchise is just one part of the job. Delivering broad, diverse, and new games to Xbox means searching to find unique games from creators around the world that will surprise and delight. To me, these next few games do just that. Starting with the game I got to play on a recent trip to Japan. It's hilarious. A little crazy it's Osu and a whole lot for of the fun. Xbox. <laughs> World premiere. We're coming out. We're coming out with Project Diva 
for the Xbox. <laughs> no longer PlayStation exclusive. Yeah. Guys, it's Beyblade. Oh my, my god. My favorite you anime. Just you just triggered half <laughs> Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Street Fighter. The original Dragon Ball. How dare you put a Z on the end of that? I don't know. I actually don't know. Like Street Ball Fighter Z. Z. <laughs> Street Fighter Z. I I remember playing a uh, Naruto fighting game back in the day with my friend Ben. Back in the day. So will this go pro or not? No. I don't think so either. Actually no, it probably will. <gasps> it probably is gonna have a pro community. It is Dra Dragon Ball Fighter Z! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh that's great. Be beautiful. Exclusive. Xbox One S exclude no I'm just kidding. That's not Pearl Abyss. Ah yes, I love loading textures. Is this Minecraft? <laughs> Again? It's Minecraft too. It's Minecraft. <laughs> <clears throat> Looks like, um, if you zoomed into, uh, a Civ game, <laughs> I don't, I don't really know what to say. <clears throat> my thing stops, my internet just fucking just stopped, so I'm gonna record from here, and then string it together later and upload it, because I can never, you know... Do an E3 event without it just shitting, so. Never ever able to do it properly, ever. Why would I be able to do that? What a ridiculous thing of me to want. Anyway, let's see what this game is. Ah uh, yes, Black Desert online. Didn't that already come out? Exclusive. I guess that just does that just mean it's coming to Xbox One? See, there's not a lot of AAA title games here. I don't I wouldn't call that last game a AAA title game. I don't even really know if it's who it's made by, but I wouldn't call that a AAA title. This looks What is this? It what is this? This looks cool. Oh yes, do we get the demo? Alright, no. That looks cool. Exclusive.
is happening? What is happening right now? Looks pretty. We've scoured the globe meeting with creative artists and development teams. And I'm often surprised and humbled by their work whether it's a story that can only be born of a different land or artistic design and storytelling that in a single moment can capture your imagination and inspire. There is much to be learned by looking beyond borders. Our first party is also a place of innovation and creativity. Today, I'm excited to share with you an extended look at never before seen gameplay from Rare's shared world adventure, Sea of Thieves. Exclusive. Ah, the joy of a new voyage far across the Sea of Thieves. Cool, just Sea of you, Thieves. The wide open world and, oh, so yeah, we... Not just you, she's here too. Oh, and this guy's here. But, but, but the point is, this is a shared world. Right for exploring... Oh, it, it, it always reminds me of the look of Fable, which I like. But, uh, around, yeah, this useful. people, I feel like, like people kind of want this game. The world of Sea of Thieves seethes with possibilities, with adventures skulking above and below the waves. All you have to do is jump in and up. Oh, there she goes. Few things tempt a pirate like the siren song of a lootable shipwreck. Careful, though, there could be anything down there. Literally, there could be anything. We haven't finished designing it yet. Joking, that was a joke. <laughs> ah, was it friend. though? Like was it though? <laughs> Every player's decisions and discoveries will be different, but however you plan on seeking your fortune, it pays to be prepared. For gigantic lumps of iron, these are surprisingly portable. Amazing workmanship. <laughs> anyway, better get them back on board. Surprisingly portable. There's really no sense in pushing your luck down here. Now that is not a beast you want to pick a fight with. Yes, it's possible to take on these toothy terrors of the deep, but you're not much used to your crew bitten in two. Sometimes a tactical retreat is perfectly acceptable, in the spirit of that legendary pirate captain, Pathetic Dave. Thankfully, for every tense standoff, there's a moment of celebration or shared wonder. But for now, stow your hard-earned loot and enjoy the voyage. On Devil's Ridge, beneath the sands, the gold lies hidden from thieving hands. Well, well that's typical. Oh, look! Here we are at Devil's Ridge. Nice transition, by the way. 
And so you'll ship from the heart of the sea to the island shore, where you'll explore jungles and coves, cliff tops and caverns. Every region has its very own landmarks, and over time, you'll uncover hidden shortcuts, abandoned stashes, and vistas that will steal your grog-soaked breath away. And yes, sometimes you'll encounter people who, for whatever reason, would like to blow you into little pieces. That's pirating for you. Keep that pistol primed, because you'll also face the roaming remains of those raiders who came before you, caught short in pursuit of their own legends. An afterlife of fighting and troublemaking until all your bits fall off. It's what they would have wanted. Now, make sure your crewmates all have a part to play. Yep, that works. And look, <laughs> what? he brought the riddle map. <laughs> Seek the cursed boar shrine where there is no sky. It lies in wait for a light held high. Hmm. Right, well, that's got to be around here somewhere. But if you've got a bad feeling, you can always leave someone on board to brace the ship for a speedy getaway. Decisions, decisions. Ah, looks like they've sniffed out that place where there is no sky. Time to pull your resources as you plunge into the unknown. It would be easy to come up <coughs> in these claustrophobic caves. You don't want to wander off track. Unless, of course, you're streaming. And you'll have loads of people in the chat telling you what to do anyway. <coughs> The premier plunder isn't just lying around to be claimed by any old drunken bumbler. You'll need to watch out for likely locations, following your map, clues, and your instincts to make light work of each new mystery. Light work. Little lantern joke there. You're welcome. Anyway, step eleven paces northwest through the gloom. Dig my chest from its tomb. Hmm. And with that, we're one step closer to payday. Then again, some of the loot in these parts has lain undisturbed for a long, long <clears> time. <throat> that has to be the spot. You can practically taste the treasure. Good call on the double duty shovel work too. That storm outside was nipping at your heels. Ah, very nice. Of course, the trouble with treasure, as a rule, is that the owners really like to hang on to it. If you've got your hands full, it's up to your crew to watch your back. And while they're doing that, it's time for another strategic withdrawal with the loot. Nope, not that way. That's it. Easy now. Don't stop, keep going. Almost there. Watch that next step, it's a doozy. Now that's a rescue. That's pretty, this is pretty cool. I will admit. This is pretty cool. turn a tidy profit by trading them in at an outpost. That's just a tiny matter of making it through this storm in one piece.
If you can actually do this in the game, this is awesome. The, the, this is awesome if you can actually do these things. Cut off. Yeah, I know. That's what I figured. I wanted to kill myself. You're streaming and watching a live stream, and that's obviously way too much for any internet to handle, so. Totally. For over. It did it for over 40 minutes. Exclusive. When? Huh? No. When? I'm saying I, I streamed and watched a live stream for over 40 minutes. Oh. <laughs> oh, never mind. Ah, uh, yes, finally. The game that we saw a trailer for two years ago, Tacoma. I started where I left off. Oh, I was gonna say, that was um, a while ago. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, yeah, okay, cool, August. I don't know if I'll have time to play that one. Oh, man, there's a couple I want to talk about, but you're not there yet. Exclusive. Really? We have that man many left? Well, okay. Yeah. I'm, I just I, mean, I watched the Sea of Thieves it. one and I actually like That it's one actually looks fun. pretty good. Like it's turning out to look pretty fun. I will not lie. I'm I'm kind of interested in playing that. Was that Xbox exclusive? I didn't see if it was. Or I not. will check on that. I think it might be. Cuz that's when I started watching it or that's like right when you cut out or something. I don't know. That's I remember that watching that and that one was really fun looking. You can't have a fox jump kind of throughout the screen oh. and it not be Conquer. Conquer? It's an old rare game. Oh. But yeah, that that game, the... I don't, I, I'm not... I, I, it's not like you're gonna play it, so it's it's called, like, Super Lucky's Tale. Okay. Something. Wait. It looks like a it looks like a fun kids game. It looks like yeah. it's well made. It kind of like looks a like a... Where, like a game like uh, that new game Banjo Kazooie or Ukulele. Yeah, Ukulele. That's what I was thinking. Which of. I it, I'm which going is... to get Ukulele for the Switch. Is it? It's not on the it's Switch. It's going to come out on the Switch. Oh. Okay. And I want. I don't care that people didn't like it. Mhm. Mm yeah, I still watch a lot of gameplay, but it looked fun. Yeah. But I'm not gonna get it because I'm not really into those kind of games. The, the cartoonish platformer ones, I mean. Mm -hmm. I ended up, I'm recording this session, I'm not streaming it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, though. Oh, okay. It's it's Lucky's tail. it's Tails from Sonic. Yeah. He's getting his yep. own spin-off game. Not Bowser. I like it. And it's coming out this year, too. I know it. Exclusive. Know it. Xbox One. Exclusive. Yes, finally. Cuphead. Jeez, please be Cuphead, and I'm not actually just thinking it's a different game. <laughs> the likes of which has never been seen crossed out. Mm -hmm. Yes, Cuphead. Thank God it's still alive. It has a release date, too. Yay!
I feel like we're seeing a lot of Exclusive. re-announcements for games that did not were not announced last year. Two years ago, we're talking about now. Oh God, please be Crackdown 3. Yes! Okay, alright, now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Crackdown 3. Oh. I've never played a Crackdown, but I want to play this one. Oh my god, it's Terry Crews. Oh yeah. It's only just begun. That's why we brought in you. You got the Now you need the tech. You throw grenades. Tomorrow you'll be throwing cars. Forget dropping bombs. You drop it. Build it. Now it's time to get to work. Time to step up your boom. I always view cracked. Oh shit! I always view Crackdown as like, like um, uh, what, what's the game? <sighs> I always forget, forget its name. Um, the game that's like GTA, the GTA 5 competitor, not anymore though. I have no clue. Or to what the Grand Theft Auto competitor. I have no clue what you're talking about. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Saints Row. I always view it as Saints Row on steroids. Ah, right. Oh wow, that's that's what I thought it looked like when I saw it. I, <laughs> I, was, try, I was trying to remember what game oh, you were yeah. just ta talking about. That's the game that I thought it looked like. Yeah, see, you knew. Just needed a little reminder. Cause I'm like also I'm like trying to listen to what you're saying and also watching the live stuff. <laughs> it's still going. Yeah. Fuck. Okay. I think that might have been the finale because that they put a lot of time into the last one that I just watched. Oh yeah. No, never mind. Will it be good? Or what is it a development disaster? It's coming out in November. Oh shit! I think I know what this is. Halo 6. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me. I know it's not Halo, but yeah. Well, I mean, it could be Halo. But it's not. It would be a very, very big, big change from the very big, Halo big people. shift. Very big shift. Yeah. Now we just have a little. Oh yeah, Observer. I'm actually interested in this game. Oh, Hello Neighbors gonna be the next one. Hey, this is exactly what I thought it was. Yay. We're gonna be happy. Okay. Is it Destiny? <laughs> yes. Xbox, Destiny 3. It's not about finding creative artists. It's about empowering Do you want me to tell you you want to wait and watch it for yourself? shine a light on their work. Making it easy for them <clears throat> just to the name of the game their creations. That's why the idea at Xbox or, or you is so okay important. goodbye what the team released over five <laughs> what did you say? I said do you want me to tell you what it was or? Or? Oh, no, okay And this is not just a milestone for the program and the independent developer community 
It's a milestone for everyone who loves great games. I hope you're reminded today why it's so great to be a gamer on Xbox. Action, adventure, story, skill, surprise. These next few games bring it all together. Let's start with a game whose stylistic approach alone makes it something very special. Exclusive. What's this Anamara Interactive? It's older than the light. At last a day dawned, and we rose with this first light. Oh, wow. That light was a betrayal. Oh, wow. What? Uh, do you want me to tell you? No, wait, okay. No, what is okay. what is happening? I, I didn't think this event would be that interesting. Uh, this is a big, big shock. Okay. After lifetimes, the light grows again. Faint and vulnerable. Wow. Dude, you're teasing me so hard right now. <laughs> Dude, you're gonna. You're gonna flip. Okay, okay. We will live in the new light. I'm watching this trailer for like these people have no faces game. Oh, yeah. Okay. This rebirth will end our wandering. I had to leave for like 20 minutes, so I don't know if I saw that one or not. Oh, okay. So you never stopped it? No. Okay. I better be recording. Okay, I am, I am. <clears throat> Ashen. I think there might have been a trailer for that last year, I can't remember. World premiere. Oh, wow. okay. Go ahead, what were you saying? I wish you would have skipped back with me and watched what <laughs> I was watching so that we could be on the same page right now. <laughs> Sorry. Dude, is this the Life is Strange 2? Yep. Wait, is it actually? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, it's like, I think it's a prequel. Okay, I just saw someone smoking and it said, it said Square Enix and then somebody is smoking. And I was like, is it Life is Strange? I feel numb. Is that Zo uh, Zoe? I feel numb. Before she I actually never played. Diary. I actually never played Life is Strange, so I don't know. It's very it's, worth watching a playthrough the, and not playing the name. Yourself. The name of it. The name it, of it is called Life is Strange Before the Storm. So that's why okay. I'm assuming it's a sequel. Yeah, prequel. yeah, it's before. Wait, unless no, yeah. Wait, is that Rachel? No, it's Zoe. It's not Max, it's Zoe. Rachel? Yeah, okay. It's about okay, it's about Zoe and Rachel before she disappeared. I would I would say Max it's a, it's a very worth uh oh, the game's been out for <laughs> I would say it's worth um going and watch uh, I liked um watching um Although I don't watch that much anymore. I liked watching Please Game Theory play from it. Monolith Productions, Vice President mm -hmm. of Creative, Michael DePlatter. People are excited about this new Shadow of War game. That's the one that took so long. That's what I thought the finale was. Okay. You burn my mind. I'll kill you. Until this moment, you have not known suffering. The Nemesis system. I've had enough of your mouth, Bruce. So now I'm going to kill you. Uh... Oh, I see you were an optimist. Know what that is, mate? 
It's about sizing up a situation that's bloody impossible and saying, yeah, all right, I'll have a go. I'm exactly the same way. <laughs> Wait, you can play as the... I like him. Okay. Bruce killed the boss! Come on, lads! In Shadow of Mordor, we introduced a way to oh, create talking unique now. personal okay. stories for every player. And in Shadow of War, we're expanding the Nemesis system. Two new features we're really excited about are forging an army of followers and Nemesis fortresses. Here, we'll use the Ring of Power and recruit this Olog, Bruce the Chopper, to expand our army. Then, we're going to assault a fortress controlled by one of Sauron's overlords. Tickle, maybe, but you're gonna need more than that to take me down. Nice one, Ranger. This never happened to me before. What? Really? In results, me ripping spines out, which I like to do anyway, so either way's a win. <laughs> what? To our man. Name's Bruce. From here on out, I will Name's Bruce. Hi, Bruce. Without my say so. Don't worry about my enemies. They will all follow eventually. You want to plant your flag in uh, Mordor, you'll need to do it deep. There's a fortress nearby. They say it's ruled by a two-headed troll big as a mountain and deadly smart, which, well, I guess he'd have to be given the two heads. You take him down, you'll send a message to Sauron and get yourself some nice new digs as part of the bargain. I'm not going to do this alone. Gather your troops. We'll do. Ooh, just make sure you let me pop his heads off, won't ya? So we already have a few loyal followers in our army. And I feel like uh, I never played the last the Shadow the Mordor, but, um, and overthrow the Overlord. In this game, it appears that the characters have a lot more personality to them. Mm -hmm. We're enormously expanding the open world of Mordor to new regions like Saragost and Kirith Ungol. Mordor's a massive, living, breathing world filled with orc society, tribes, and wildlife, as well as stories and secrets. You cleave me in two. Any other orc would have died, but I survived. More than that, I thrived. My brothers put me back together, stronger than ever. But they didn't make me into what I am. You did. You created the machine. No! So we've just been ambushed by the machine. He's tracked us across Mordor seeking vengeance. He's one of the seven new Draw orc tribes we've added. The machine will grind you to paste. I hate big things. Cool, finally. <laughs> Instead of killing the machine, we'll dominate him so we can take advantage of his abilities during the fortress assault. You take out the overlord. But before we charge headfirst into battle, we should plan our attack and select our followers.
The finale thing that they have going on right now is actually insanely cool looking. My black space yeah. is a little rusty. Actually, I don't know a single word. Language is a pain in the ass, but to hazard a guess, he said... Language is a pain in the ass. Horribly. Yeah, my kind of black. Well, I will handle the Overlord. You focus on the Defenders. Define focus. Ways to forge your story I like that the camera's sh like war. almost is shaking from the amount of base Thank you very much. inside of that area. Mm -hmm. Exclusive. Xbox One exclusive. Alrighty. Oh shit. We got some live music. Something that PlayStation did, Sony did throughout their entire event last year. the live piano. Is this Limbo too? <laughs> It's, um, oh, what's the name of that game? The game, the sad game, where the thing dies. <laughs> yeah, I love that game, actually. It has, like, the, the, the black, like, little, like, chubby, like, cute thing that's taking care of the Ori in the Blind Forest. Yep, that's what oh. I was, that's the first thing that I said. Ori in the Will of the Wisps. Oh, Yep. Okay. That's the one I was saying you'd, 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 be, you'd think was cool, because I know you played the Warrior first one. I didn't play it. Beauty, you played some of it. I've never played of Ori in the Blind Forest. We you have? You have it on your channel! Like books, movies, As Child of Light, Max. Should be celebrated what? <laughs> countless generations. You are what? We're passionate <laughs> about preserving and celebrating the games you own, no, nah, you are lying. The past, <laughs> and the genres you love to play. I mean, like, yeah, they look similar, ago, so I, I understand why when you would. I've actually like watched Ori the Blind Xbox Forest. I thought I watched it on your channel, but I guess not. <laughs> I felt like I should have watched it. In the program. Today, our library it was really of good. Game stands at 385 yeah. titles, and over half of Xbox One gamers have played a backward compatible game. But I've heard your feedback, and you want more. Today, I'm pleased to announce an exciting expansion to the program. Oh, shit. Oh, you can play original Xbox games now. 
What did you say? You can play original Xbox yeah, games now. That's what I was that's what I was shocked about. Okay. Are working hard to bring us some of your favorite original Xbox game to today's Xbox One library. <laughs> including a fan favorite that I'm asked about often by the community, Crimson Skies. And it looks great. And like the Xbox 360 huh. games, cool. OG games look I don't have better any original Xbox and play games, better but... across the Xbox One family. It's what, it we'll just ended for me, by the way. this program yeah, yeah. when it launches later this year. Okay. I'm proud of the library of games available today on Xbox One. All of them will benefit from the performance and power when you play them on Xbox One X. But we won't stop there. I'm excited to announce that if you own Gears of War 4, Forza Horizon 3, Killer Instinct, Halo Wars 2, or Minecraft, we'll pre be providing 4K updates to these titles for free. And we already have over 30 titles from our third-party partners that are planning to provide free updates as part of our Xbox One X Enhanced program. Titles like Final Fantasy 15, Resident Evil 7, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands, and Rocket League, just to name a few. This means you probably already have a large library of titles that you own today that will automatically get better on Xbox One X. <laughs> today, we showcase some of the world's greatest creators with a lineup of different types of games for every type of gamer. We showed you the largest and most diverse lineup of new games that have ever appeared on our stage. From every corner of the globe, from developers large and small. 42 games, including 22 with console exclusivity on Xbox One. And you're also going to be able to play all of the biggest cross-platform blockbusters on Xbox One. And every game will play great across the Xbox One family. And on Xbox One X, runs every single game you've seen even better. I'm still upset it's not called Xbox One Scorpio. <laughs> so if you haven't joined the Xbox One family, now's the time. This week you'll find Xbox One S available in the US for $249. And on November 7th, we'll begin worldwide rollout of Xbox One X, the world's most powerful console at four ninety nine. Coming up this year, November seventh, four ninety nine, five hundred dollars. To experience unrivaled power and performance on the Xbox One. We close today's show by looking to the future, with a really great so, They've Xbox been with One us X, from the earliest November days 7th. of Project Scorpio, mm -hmm. and they're building an incredible game that takes advantage of the power and performance of the Xbox One family. And I'm so hyped for Xbox it, dude. Like, yeah, so I know you're going to get it. I know you love Sutherland, Xbox. <laughs> you have everyone. I have all of the Xbox. Mm -hmm. New IP <clears throat> is the lifeblood of our industry. It's also risky. At EA, we have teams. Ah, uh, it's EA products, guy. And only the greatest will make it their way to you. Let's have a conversation about play. <laughs> it's all a part of the creative process. And it's worth it because when you find something special, there's no better feeling as a developer than introducing players to a brand new world. And as a player, there's no better feeling than losing yourself in a completely new experience. Our developers at Bioware have been creating something truly special. A huge <laughs> open world that is lush, savage, mysterious, and ever-changing. Filled with interesting characters and new types of gameplay. Star Wars game? Enjoy with your friends for years what now? Ago. Star Wars game? 
This is what's yeah, awesome. Star Wars. Star is it the Star Wars game? I, I actually don't. No, this no, it's not. Okay. If you're talking about the finale thing, it's not. I'm talking about the EA game. Yeah, no, it's not. Okay. But it it's the way it started reminded me of Star Wars. So here we are. Of, and we are so but, excited to share this with all of you. What the shit? On behalf is this of Fireworks, I'm watching LCS. Let's see I'm sorry. What this game looks okay. like running on an Xbox One X. Here's John Warner from Bioware to show you. What? Something. What is this? Is this what Bioware's been working on? Is this why? Yeah. Is this why uh, Mass Effect Andromeda sucked? Hi, I'm John Warner, game director for Anthem. Here is the world premiere. Oh wow! What a hitbox. Okay. I'll, I need to show you that later. <laughs> Holy shit! What a hitbox! Oh, I know what it is. It's um. Wait, what's the game that came Anthem. out? Pay PS4. Uh, uh, the the dinosaur robot dinosaur game. What did you do? Mistake. I hired some people. They weren't freelancers. I know. They said they could handle it. And the price was right. I thought maybe. Unbelievable. You're right. It was stupid. I'm sorry. But they're still out there. Somewhere. If you could just bring them back. Anything you need. In the world of Anthem, you and your friends are it's Horizon Zero Dawn the heroes who leave the safety of the walls of Fort Tarsus to explore the unknown. It's Titanfall Horizon Zero Dawn. Let's join two players XD. as they head out Titan on an Fall, expedition. Titanfall Zero Horizon Dawn Zero Horizon Zero Dawn. Four. <laughs> you ready to go? I'm just grabbing some supplies. Just about ready. What are you going to use today? I decided to go with the Colossus. I'm going to use my Ranger. Try out some new upgrades. Every player will own an array of exosuits we call javelins. These suits give players superhuman capabilities and are heavily customizable so they look and play how you want. Bam, looking good. Nice, you've got a mortar equipped. Yeah, I got it on the weekend. You lead the way, I'll follow. What the fuck? What did you say? What the fuck to? And then I'm just, I, I'm. It's cool. I, she just jumped off and started flying, and I was like, Oh, oh yeah. Fuck. Each javelin exo yeah, there's another oh fuck moment in that little gameplay thing. In all Actually, there's a couple of them. That game looks really fun. Yeah. It's pretty impressive so far. is hostile and threats can come from any direction. This dynamic world where the unexpected is around every corner. Yeah, he seems like a problem for another day. What are these fucking Alright. They're cheating. Up uh, now she's in the water. Yeah, that's the that's the second oh, fuck oh my god she goes in the water. <laughs> <laughs> that was I love that. <laughs> Damn. Hang in there. Almost there. That's the second like big oh fuck moment. Yeah. There is still like a You've been in there yet? The last one, the other one's just like, oh wow, that's really impressive and cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. And that's about it. Hello, treasure. I think we got some action back. Anyone? Anyone? We're under 
attack. Anyone in the area, we're under attack. I think that's part of Praxis mission. You can equip your Javelin exosuit with gear that brings devastating power to combat. No, robot dinosaur. Scars down there. Oh, the scars have a heavy. Have time to use that mortar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some covering fire. There's a bunch of coming in. Okay, I'll get this round. Bless <laughs> bro. You get to essentially, you get to be Iron Man. <laughs> oh yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah. Are you to the storm part? No. Okay. I thought that you would have been sorry for spoiling. <laughs> Large scale world events like Shaper Storms are dynamic and pull you off the beaten path with the promise of new stories to discover. <sighs> I don't oh. believe the new story is the discovery okay. part, but okay. Okay, actually, let's get some more people. Hold on a sec. So you are almost at the storm part. Oh, I forgot. I didn't realize that these are actually this is their script. This is scripted. They're, those aren't actually the characters talking. Yeah. Wait, what do you yeah. mean? I actually thought up until this point. Yeah, the storm just started. Ooh. I really thought it was actually them talking. Oh. The storm is getting crazy. What are this? Okay, look. So what are we supposed to do? Fly into it? All right, let's do this. See you on the other side. What the fuck the is this game? Fly into it? Nice anthem. I. I want that. I actually want that. What is the- oh my god. Okay. Calm down, Max. Dude. This has been the weirdest game. So you know what a skill shot is in League, right? No. It's something you have to aim and has a chance of missing if the person dodges it. Right. There's three instances where there's like clear space. Well, there's two, there's clear space in between the person and the skill shot and they get hit by it. And then there's this other one where the skill shot goes through a person to hit another person. Damn. Which is also, there's a, there's some skill shots that do that, but this is not one of those. This game makes no sense. What? Overall, I don't know. I mean, they had an impressive amount of exclusives, but there was like no anthem at the end was was impressive, and I don't I don't think is that Xbox One exclusive? I don't even know. I don't know. I hope not. But, yeah, but, um, yeah, I don't, oh. I don't know, like, two years ago was the <clears throat> 2015's was amazing. Last year's was eh, and this year's was... I'd, I can't decide if it was better, more interesting, or less interesting than last year's, or basically on the same level. Mm -hmm. It was definitely... It was good to actually see... Finally... This is, like... So this is the year of releases that have been hyped for a couple years now. Like, a couple from 2015 that are finally being released this year. So, there was a lot of rehash of that. Not a lot of new IP announcements, even though there was some. Like the 
other zombie game, not State of Decay, but... Yeah. Yeah, I'm on. Yeah, I'm on. Max, are you, are you psyched for you anything? Wait, 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 wait. Actually, which um, one are, would you get the most? PC, I would probably get that. Anthem? Anthem, the last game. Um, mm -hmm. That other, like, Sea of Thieves, which yeah. I am going to mispronounce so many times as Thea of Sieves. <laughs> Cause I almost did it just then. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. The Thea of Sieves. That's that's another game I would get. Mm -hmm. My, I don't know. It made me want to play Minecraft again to get shaders. <laughs> yeah, that looks nice. But yeah. Yeah. I don't know. That's about it. <clears throat> Not a lot. There's that nothing that in. blew me away from the show. Really. I mean, oh, I. The Ori, Ori and the Blind, Blind Force, I might get that. Or, I'm sorry, oh, yeah. Ori and yeah. the Will of the what? Something? Will of Wills. Will of the Fates? Um, Will of Wisps. Will okay. of Wisps. And I'm probably going to call that Will of Wisp, because Pokemon. Ah. <laughs> uh, um. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm kind of interested in Sea of Thieves, and I, and I kind of, I want Anthem. I would like to learn more about it. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah, Crackdown Three. Oh yeah, that looked fun. I, I am excited. It, but... Yeah, I'm excited. See, here's the thing though, that there was a rumor that the game's gonna suck because there's been development issues with it. So. It's either they've actually really have been working on on it for this long and it really is going to be good, or they're just trying to hide everything and they're gonna release it and it's just gonna suck. Mm -hmm. So I'm probably gonna wait until it's released, but I don't know if it is good. I I probably will hopefully try to convince you guys to get it. Yeah. Too, but also my big focus for this fall is Destiny Two. So. Oh yeah. Like. Oh yeah, for sure. This I feel like this is this does not happen very often. All the killer games came out earlier this year. For me anyway. Mm -hmm. I mean I loved Nier Automata, that's gonna be my favorite game of the year. Um uh Resident Evil seven was amazing. Um What else did I play earlier? Uh I played another thing. Well, I, I pray came out, and I still need to play that. Oh yeah. Um, Outlast Two was pretty awesome. I I watched a full playthrough of that. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, there's been a lot of good games that have come out this year. Then that are coming out later this year. We have Battlefront Two, which I am so getting. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it looks awesome. It looks so much better than the first one. Um, I we still need to. I still haven't watched any of Outlast Two other than like the um, the trial, like the demo that they had last year or whenever it was. That's all I've seen of Outlast Two. So we still need to get together and play that this summer. Yeah, so. yeah, I'll definitely play it because <clears throat> the story, the overarching, and it's one of those things where like the DLC is going to provide the answers, just like the first one. Oh, okay. So. I'm. I will probably like get that game, and then also like so. I I'll play the DLC for myself because mm -hmm. when it comes to the first game, what's funny is I don't really remember the main game that well. I remember the whistleblower DLC extremely well, and I didn't even play the whistleblower DLC. I just remember watching it. Like, right. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see. But the real like the flashback events. In Atlas 2 were extremely interesting, and I'm excited to get more answers from the DLC, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that was the Xbox event. Bethesda's event ton is tonight. I'm not going to stream that one. I might stream Sony's tomorrow. Um, we'll see how theirs goes. I'm sure it's going to be spectacular. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. You're welcome. Thanks, Max. <laughs> for joining me. For joining me on my stream that cut out. <laughs>